No matter how good you are, someone is always going to be against you. My dearest listener, if you found this video today, your guardian angels have a special message for you in particular. They can't believe the stories they've heard. Did you really do all of that? There has been much talk about you circulating recently. Your name is on their lips and people cannot stop discussing you and all of your recent successes. Your reputation precedes you. People often talk about you because there is so much for them to talk about. You have already achieved so much in your life and when this person has been told all these stories about you, they find it difficult to believe it all. You are someone that many people look up to. You are a walking success story even when things do not go your way, so when they have asked others about you and all that you have done, they are told great things that they find hard to believe. They also hear stories about your kindness and humor and wonder how one person could possess so much. Despite not really knowing you, this person already admires you and finds it hard to believe that you are real. You may not even realize the trail that you leave. People talk about you all the time and find delight in any opportunity to rave about you and proudly boast about knowing you. You are not just stories of your greatest achievements, but also the small moments where you have made a bigger impact on the lives of others that you may have not even realized. There are moments in which you just by being yourself have helped others in big ways. You make the lives of those around you better and help to instill confidence within them. You are someone that people are confident to go to for advice because you carry such great wisdom and emotional intelligence. People trust you and know that you always have their best interests at heart. And this person finds it hard to believe that all of this can exist in one person. Your guardian angels want you to know how people view you and the positive ways in which they speak about you. Whilst you do not need validation from others, it is always nice to know that your warm personality and magnetic energy are recognized and massively appreciated by others. But your guardian angels wish to tell you something along with this message. Imagine you're this superhero friend who's always swooping in to save the day. Your empathy levels are off the charts and your words have this magical power to lift others up. You're like the go-to guru for life advice. Now, that's pretty awesome, right? But, and there's always a but, being the perpetual savior can take a toll. You might feel like you're running on empty, constantly putting others first and forgetting about numero you know you. It's like juggling so many plates that you forget where you left your own plate of self-love. And here's the kicker, your superhero cape might start feeling a bit heavy. Helping everyone is noble, but it can lead to burnout central station. Saying no? Well, that's like speaking a different language for you. Throw in a dash of emotional exhaustion, and suddenly your superhero status is in jeopardy. Then there's the tough truth that by being everyone's savior, you might unintentionally be holding them back. It's like doing all the homework for your classmates. It might get them the grades, but are they really learning? And let's not forget the risk of compassion fatigue. It's like the more you give, the less you have left for yourself. Ever been so emotionally drained that even a kitten meme couldn't cheer you up? Yeah. That's the one. So, here's the lowdown. Finding that sweet spot between being an amazing support system and not forgetting your own cape is key. 
It's about setting some superhero-worthy boundaries, prioritizing self-care, and ensuring your superhero status isn't at the expense of your own well-being. You're not just a sidekick in your story, you're the main character. You have the power to change the lives of those around you and the world that you live in. The more goodness that you spread and give to others, the more that will continue to circle back to you. So lead with your heart and share what you know with others. Encourage them to pursue their dreams and support them in their journeys towards their destined path. Now, this raises an important question, what will you do with this revelation? Your guardian angels have gone out of their way to share this celestial message with you. Could it be a sign that you're stepping into a new, even more impactful chapter of your own journey? And if so, are you ready for it? You've already accomplished so much just by being you, but this could be the universe's way of preparing you for even greater things. If you've listened to this message and felt a resonance know that it's no mere coincidence. The universe doesn't make mistakes. Every step you've taken and every challenge you've faced has led you to become this inspiring figure. Isn't it incredible how life's puzzle pieces fit together to create this amazing picture? Others, too, are poised to be touched by your radiant energy as you continue on your journey. Here are some direct words and a promise from the Father. This message holds ancient wisdom, giving you the keys to unlock the secrets of your soul. The Father says today, allow generosity of spirit to flow through you today like water. I live on the inside of you. Give me room to move in and through you to others. Love unconditionally. Give lavishly. Forgive unreasonably. Love Give and forgive until your love scandalizes the small-minded religious professors whose love has grown cold. Reach out to the undeserving and those who haven't loved you back. Let your testimony toward them be, I am going to love you and there is nothing you can do about it. This is the audacity of love, says the Father. Men can place restriction and constraints upon you. But the nature of love is to break out and flow out to the lowest common denominator of relationship and expectation. Love is a spiritual geography to itself that is alien to failure or defeat. So export all your hopes, dreams, and petitions to the geography of love. For that is where faith's fullest measure spontaneously gives substance to every vision and dream born in your heart by my incorruptible seed. Today, the Father's message resonates like a gentle breeze, urging us to open the floodgates of generosity that dwell within our spirit. He reminds us that His divine essence resides within us, ever ready to flow out into the world. It's an invitation to love unconditionally, give without restraint, and forgive beyond reason. Our love is not bound by conditions or expectations, and this boundless love may baffle those with limited, cold hearts. The Father calls us to extend our love to the undeserving, even to those who haven't reciprocated our affections. Our testimony toward them is audacious. I will love you, and there's nothing you can do to stop it. It's a declaration that resounds with the audacity of love itself. This is the nature of love, says the Father. While the world may impose restrictions and limitations, love knows no boundaries. It defies the constructs of human relationships and expectations, and it surges forth even to the least deserving. Love exists in a spiritual realm of its own, untouched by failure or defeat. Therefore, we are encouraged to transfer our hopes dreams, and deepest desires to the landscape of love. In this sacred space, faith takes root, giving substance to every vision and dream, sown within our hearts by the incorruptible seed of the Creator. In this expansive outlook, 
we discover that love is an inexhaustible reservoir, an eternal spring that continually renews itself. It's a reminder that, within the geography of love, there are no limitations, no disappointments, and no defeats. So, let's heed the Father's call, allowing the generosity of our spirits to flow like a river of love, quenching the parched hearts of those we encounter. In this audacious outpouring of love, we may witness the miraculous as faith takes hold and turns our dreams and visions into tangible realities.